What's going on everybody? Kenny Dopes here with another Mega Man X Dive video. So something kind of interesting happened today. I'm just going to go over it real quick in a little patch update video. So uh, over here in the notices, new limited weapon capsules available, acidic machine gun. Um, already covered that, did a weapon overview of that yesterday. Acidic machine gun has the typical, um, you know, limited weapon draws on it. First, third, and fifth uh, multi-pulls have a guaranteed s rank weapon. On the 10th one, you guarantee acidic machine gun. Not bad. However, we got a pickup combo capsule. A new type of all character capsule is now available. It's going to be available for one week. Chance of any S rank character. Um, Mega Man XE hub style. Right up for him, right up. So if you don't have Mega Man, you know, if you don't have hub style Mega Man or for him, it's a good chance to pawn it. And if you win, the, if you pull the above right up, you get an additional all star activation coupon. All star activation coupon, special ticket that activates the all star capsule. We'll go over that in, in a moment. All star deluxe, uh, super all star deluxe, a uh, peer S rank character capsule that debuts at the same time as the pickup combo capsule. 100% S rank characters are guaranteed with a win with the extra gift of free character patches times 900 more on that later uh we also have a boss rush stage um i might have event coverage of that event missions for the match scientists new packs which you don't care about because the packs in this game are typically utter garbage so uh em discount pack available on the 16th of each month uh that's actually kind of interesting and dna availability for hub style mega man exe okay that's very good we've already covered um you know hub styles dna and such but that's good to know so Let's get into the nitty gritty of this, the more interesting part. So, um, over here, the, the pickup combo capsule. Now, the reason I wanted to make a video and go over this is one, because I want to kind of do more patch update kind of videos. But um, this capsule in particular, I don't think it's good for what it is, but it's good for what it is, if that makes sense. So, I don't think it's good because of the feature characters, right? Um, feature characters, whatever. They could be any feature characters. But the reason that this is good... Let's come over here. Let's take a look at this. Look at the rates. Um, 450 for S-Rank character. Okay, 4.5. Uh, Furham, Hubstyle Mega Man. Um, you know, all the other general pool characters. Okay. 12% for A-Rank characters. Okay, not bad. And then 83.5% chance... Or B rank characters. Now you might have noticed something here. There's no weapons in this banner. So what does that mean for us as players? Well, if you learn character patches like I am, this is the best time to invest and invest some pulls into a banner to try and get yourself some character patches because there's only characters on these banners, right? So you are guaranteed to get character patches, um, and because you're guaranteed nine Bs and one A. Uh, what's that? So that that's that's thirty. I think it's thirty for for this. Is that ninety? No, I don't remember the numbers on on the patches. But you're guaranteed, you know, a good chunk of patches. And if you hit an S rank character, that's this nine hundred patches. And on top of that, if you hit why does it scroll up? If you hit the featured unit, um, if you already had them like I do, um, you get. 900 patches. I think you get the, the memories for them as well. Man, I get the memories, but you get 900 patches and you get the all-star event coupon. And the all-star event coupon is another special banner um, that guarantees the S-Rank character and 900 more patches, character patches. And this banner right here, this banner right here um, has a bunch of things on it, actually. Uh, so if you're going for something specific, this isn't really the banner for you to go in on. However, because of the nature of the other banner, um, this banner is good by association. So let's take a look at some of the things here and some of the rates here and how incredible they may or may not be. So it's here, Arado, Dr. Light, the Martial Artist, Rico Celebration, Via, you might be noticing something here. Um, Angie, Droid Claire, Base Double Cross, uh, Eco, Diver Armor X, Super Base, uh, Dark Mega EXE. There's a lot of characters here that are die festival units that scroll down a little bit more. So we scroll down here, Ultimate Armor X, and I wonder what's going to hit. Well, limited characters now, too, are seasonal characters, right? White Day Alia, White Day Cinnamon, Swimsuit Layer, Swimsuit Roll, Swimsuit Iris, Festive Zero to Break D colon, uh, you know, the Halloween units, right? Christmas Leviathan, New Year's Cinnamon, et cetera, et cetera. And we're like, we can scroll down and you can see a whole bunch of the 
the units that are not in the general pool are then here. And then even further down than that, you'll see units that are in the general pool. So this banner is actually really good because you're guaranteed S rank unit and character patch programs. So uh, that's why I think like these banners are good. Like I don't think they're good because of what's featured. I think these are good because of what they can provide you as a player to increase your resources. However, this could come at an awkward time because many people might be low on resources. <clears throat> But I think it's worth to spend at least a few resources into these banners. And we're going to be doing a little bit of that um, in just a moment here. Uh, before I do that, I want to do a pull on the Acidic Machine Gun banner. Because, like I say, I always think it's worth it to do at least one pull on these banners. Just to, um, like I said, best case scenario, you get the weapon. Worst case scenario, you get 900 weapon patches, which still ain't even all that bad. So... So let's do our pull here. Let's hope for a Cidic machine gun. Uh, we're guaranteed an S rank, so at least one S rank weapon. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that it's something, it's either a Cidic machine gun or something that I don't have. Uh, can't really think of, well, I got two S ranks, so we're, al we're already cooking. What is he cooking? So we'll see already uh, what I'm doing. I'm not gonna do any more than six pulls today. Uh, just because that would keep me above pity range, and I like to stay above pity range in the gacha games uh, that I play for the most part. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, I like to stay uh, within range to pity uh, upcoming units that I have interest in. I really don't like going below that. It's pretty D colon. Okay. It's a character. Uh, it's kind of D colon. Fourth armor axe. I mean, I'll take it. 900 character patches. Um, I can't think of a character I really want in the general pool right now. Uh, no, I can. Rogue. I don't have Rogue. Um, that's the immediate one, anyway. Uh, base EXE, I don't. I also don't have, actually. So that's, that's pretty... It's actually is pretty decol in there. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything on top of my head. So... I don't know. I don't, I don't have Guy Arm X, I suppose. Alright, let's see what my weapon is. I said a machine gun? It always feels really D colon to hit an off banner weapon because of the rates. But 900 character patches, uh, you know, that, that's better than what I thought. I was expecting just the 900 weapon patches. And just to, you know, just to show you here, um, for the limited weapons, we have the Cidic Machine Gun at 1.5%. So I lost the 50-50 there um, in between getting a Cidic Machine Gun and anything else. <laughs> so that feels even worse on the guaranteed pulls here. But... You know what? That's fine. Whatever. Um, let's move on to the pickup pa uh, pickup combo capsule. And like I said, I'm not going to be doing any more than uh, five five more pulls at most here. All right, let's go. Let's get an S rank here. Specifically, and a featured S rank would be fantastic, but nine A wouldn't be okay. Well, we're just going to skip this because we know it's all character patches. <laughs> so. I mean, I guess the A rank could have changed into an S rank. Oh, actually, wait. If it does change, I wouldn't even know because I own both of these. So even if I do get the featured character, if I skip it, <laughs> I legitimately won't know. Oops. But character patches are great. All right. Next poll. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's hope. Because the more character patches I can get, the better. Um, Two A ranks that time. Not bad. All right. Number three. Oh, maybe I should go all in for five, though. Uh, I don't want to be that low on uh, on EMs. And just in case, like, the worst case scenario where I actually have to pity... Uh, my next target, which I don't even know when it's going to come out, so I might have plenty of time to save realistically. Could have plenty of time to save, but I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there's an S rank. Okay, let me see. Let me see two. Oh, actually, I don't, I don't know. No, I, I would like to see at least two. Uh, just because... Uh, well, what, I don't know. If I, if I get multiple of them, do I even... Do I get the... Do I do I get more than one ticket if I land more than one of them? 
that didn't change. But hey, you know what? A ranks just means more character patches, so I will gladly take that. Especially because I was at oh god, I should have checked any character patches I was at before I started the session, realistically. I didn't check though. I know I'm at something low. I think I'm at like 3k character patches prior to this. None of them change, huh? Uh, that's unlucky. I did get an S rank though, so at the very least, it's unless I get something new. Oh, this would be the worst time to get something new, actually. Oh, wait. No, I want the patches, please. <laughs> wait. <laughs> this would be like the worst time to get something new because I actually want the character patches here. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Uh, if this gives me memories for him as well, alongside the patches and the ticket, that would be fantastic. Dang, it doesn't. So I wanted, I wanted maximum greed there. I wanted, I wanted the forty memories for him and the character patches, but obviously, you know, that's not going to be pretty little too good. And we'll do our last one here. Is because I don't want to go below uh, my pity. Eh, didn't get another S rank, but you know what? Uh, Five thousand EMs for a bunch of character patches is greatly appreciated. So, let me take that, and then we'll go do our pull on the other banner real quick. All right. So, uh, there's a lot of units here that I would like to have, but. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, are there a lot that I would like to have? Uh, I mean, I didn't own you. I didn't particularly want you right now. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. I would have actually preferred... Hmm, well... Because of how Global is doing their, is doing their die festivals, actually, I would prefer something from the general pool. I think over this, <laughs> over one of the one of the limited things, right? Just because, like, I don't particularly care about the the limited, most of the limited uh, characters and other seasonals. Like, maybe what they send them in for raids. Uh, but other than that, there's, like, not much I particularly care about. All that much, like, that. I, I would be okay with getting some of them, but, like, it's not like, you know, if I wanted them, I would have pulled on their banner, realistically. But, um, yeah, because gold has a curated pools, like, I can't get stuff like Gaia Armor X or Falcon Armor X. You know what? Rogue would have been nice. Um, Face EXE. I like Falcon Armor X. Like, I'll, I'll take, like I said, I'll take it, but I would have liked to have uh, something else. But, real quick, I just want to ch actually check my character patches now, because ooh, 11,000? I'm pretty sure I was at like 3,000 before I started this, so that that's a that's a very, very nice increase there. I have 30,000 weapon patches, but like, everyone has weapon patches because of just how common it is to get weapons. But, yeah, that's that's very, very nice to have there. So, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I ended up being a lot longer than I had wanted it to, just for, like, a little, like, patch update kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I wanted to, you know, I just wanted to bring attention to this so that people are aware um, and can, you know, uh, kind of take advantage of it. Though this does kind of cut into, you know, potentially your resources for another character, which is why I'm staying up. I wanted to not go below 2,500. However... Um, I think that the yeah, it's better it's gonna be here for like a week. So we will know what ha what's coming up next week. And I'll probably I feel like I'll I'll get another at least another nine hundred EMs between um between now and this banner ending. Or something similar. Um at least five hundred from the event. I'm in top one hundred right now for the current event, but I don't know how long I'm gonna keep that. I don't know if I how like I don't know how much I care to keep doing this each day. Like, <laughs> I've been doing it just because I've been top 100. I was like, eh, that's a free multi, but like, I'm starting to lose interest. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully everyone else's pulls um, went well on the character match banners. Like, again, like I said, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew about it so that they could take advantage of this in particular. And I will catch you guys next time. Later.